Hi, I'm Tom Elgood with Illinois Electric Works, and we're here today to talk to you about the IEEE 841 Severe Duty Motor. The IEEE 841 Severe Duty Motor is the standard in the industry for low voltage severe duty motors. The Up until the mid 80s, there really was not a standard in the industry for severe duty. Brand X would just have all cast iron parts. Others would have cast iron parts and zinc plated hardware. Others would coat the inside. So there was no apples to apples comparison. In 1986, IEEE developed the 841 specification and that has since been revised in 94 when it became the standard of the chemical and petro petrochemical and chemical industry. And then 2001 and 2009. The latest revision uh, the nice, well, first off, one thing nice about the IEEE getting involved before they were involved, efficiency was separate from severe duty. They kind of combined everything together to give you a premium efficient severe duty motor. And then in 2009, they raised the efficiency levels to meet the Energy Independence and Security Act of 2007, and also made the motors labeled Class 1 Div 2 compliant. So we're going to talk a little bit about the hardware and what makes this motor the standard in the industry. We'll start off with the leads. You'll notice there's only three leads. This is to eliminate uh, miswiring. Uh, your basically of 841 motor is going to be either a 460 volt or a 575 volt motor. Okay. The leads do have lugs on them for easy connections. There is a UL ground lug in the condo box, the condo box is cast iron and gasketed. There is a neoprene lead separator in, to protect the in, inwards of the motor, innards of the motor from contamination and also protect the leads from getting nicked up. You'll notice on the feet, I don't know if you can see it or not, but they are dual drilled for multi-mounting. This is a 145 T-frame motor. but. If it happens to be replacing a 143, the holes are there to mount to that, to those bolts. Uh, Zerk fittings, extended grease Zerk fittings. Uh, they also have automatic grease release, so that if you do overfill the grease cavity, it will automatically purge that for you, so you don't have to worry about or getting the grease into the motor. Cast iron fan cover and drain and breather plugs, so that if you do get any uh, condensation built up in the motor, it will automatically drain out. Turn this guy around. Let's see. Uh, fan are going to be either plastic or um, non sparking metal for a class 1 Div 2. Kind of going from the in, outside in, you'll notice these two Impro seals here on the front and back of the motor. Originally, the specification only required an Impro seal, which is a labyrinth seal and the best seal in the industry to protect against contaminations getting into the motor. It only was required on the drive in, and then later, drive and opposite drive in were added. Uh, next, the bearings will be 300 series bearing. Uh, this will give you longer bearing life, cooler running, and better able to handle axial loads. Your L10 life on these motors will vary by manufacturers, but you're going to get about 100,000 hours uh, direct coupled or about 40,000 hours belted uh, for an L10 life of your bearings. Uh, inner bearing caps to prevent grease from getting into the bearings. All bearings on IEEE 841 motors are regreasable. The windings are coated with chemical resistant or chemical protection, um, phase paper. Uh, Magnet wire that meets MG1 part 31 for inverted duty ratings. You'll find on most 841 motors now, they'll be labeled for constant torque and variable torque inverter duties. And they'll give you a speed ring, whether it's 6 to 1, 4 to 1. That does vary by manufacturer. So, uh, the vibration, the rotor is balanced to 0 0.08 inches per second. The NEMA standard is 0.15 inches per second. So the 841 specification basically cuts that basically in half. Some manufacturers will even go beyond that to 0 0.04 inches per second on their four, six, and sometimes eight pole motors. So uh, there are part of the specifications also for temperature rise and um, 
noise, so it's 90 dB at three feet. And I think that covers the highlights. These severe duty motors are in stock up through 200 horsepower here at Illinois Electric Works. So please visit www.illinoiselectricworks.com or contact us at 618-451-6900. Thank you. Have a great day.